this is uh, Saturday morning on uh, May the 21st, and it's tacky time. I won these two rack mountable servers off eBay recently, and today I'm going to install Ubuntu on them. Now, one of these, uh, this one is a 64 bit server, dual core. Uh, not dual core, it has two uh, Xenon uh, uh, chips. And this one's 32 bit, although it has a 3.06 gigahertz uh, chip. This one I got for $30. This one I really had splurged on, paid $51. These servers each cost well over $1,000 when they were new. You can get some real battleship grade quality uh, servers now as they're coming off of uh, lease and so forth uh, on eBay. There's a bunch available. And the uh, nice thing about Ubuntu is a very powerful Linux system. You can download it for free. So I got the 32-bit version and I got the 64-bit uh, version. So we're going to do the one on the bottom first. Get started up. Then I'll be mounting my relay rack here. Big rack. It's already got one server in it running. That's why it's noisy in here. Alright. So we got that in there. And, uh, we need to change the power cord over. Where the power is, it's over here on this one. It should be that way and it should slide right in. Yeah, it almost hit it there. That's coming up, and I should have had this up. Uh, Thirty-two bit. Now I'm going to turn on. See what we're doing. And the most important thing to have is a good hot cup of coffee. Mm. Good stuff. This is a uh, Dell Power Edge 650. You want to look up specs on it on the internet. And let's see if we can get it to boot. I'll go back and work on getting it to boot from the uh, from the disc. So we'll be back. Okay, we made progress. I found out how to get the BIOS and reset the boot sequence. So I'll boot from the CD and then it will install the boot code. We hope. Let's see. on the CD now, that's good. And let's we'll see what happens. See, I've used up some of the coffee in solving this problem, but when you buy something as great as this for 30 bucks, it's worth a little effort to get it work. Have to be patient. I know it takes a little while to Meander around through. There we go. <coughs> Dell Power Edge 650. Old but gold. Still works. Now we got Ubuntu, or Ubuntu, uh, 
do all the English. I want to install the Ubuntu server. This is free software, open source. You can get a very powerful operating system for free. I've got several servers running this. Okay. I could install an enterprise cloud, but I'm not quite ready for that here yet. Good. Yeah, I still want English. U.S. English. I say I got this for $30 off eBay and I did, but it cost another $24 to, for shipping. <laughs> it's heavy. Alright, we're coming along good, but uh, this probably takes quite a bit of time to install, so uh, I won't make you watch it all. I'll come back later and show you that it's working. Okay, intro report. The uh, system petition file. The operating system's reading in off of the uh, CD onto the hard disk. I see the light flashing, so everything's going fine. And uh, it's already has an IP on the internet. And as soon as this finishes stop installing, I'll update it. It shouldn't take long because I just downloaded this yesterday, so it's pretty current. Ubuntu 11.04, the very latest. So, more on installing the free software on a, on a server that was almost free. So, we'll keep going. Okay, it's been a little time. About uh, a little bit over an hour or so. But we're doing the first boot up. And so far it's looking okay. This was installed on it. Ubuntu 11.04. Nanny Narwhal, the latest Ubuntu. 32-bit for this one, and of course when we get around to installing this server, I have 64 bits. It's got something here ready. I need an external USB on it, but I've already tested it. boots up fine. So. Ah, Richmond login. Richmond's not this one. In, wait for it. I'll be incorrect. Okay, let's try it again. Yes! Success! Alright. Now, we're going up to check for upgrades. Yes. Well, actually, 
worry about pointing megabots up right, but that's okay. I'll we'll have to keep them upgraded. The very important part of server maintenance is to make sure you've got all the latest security patches, the hackers out, and so forth. But that's successful. We don't need a GUI. We don't need a GUI graphic user interface because this is a server, and we'll be in the rack over here, which you probably can't see what it's there. And uh, I'll access it over the uh, network to doing maintenance and so forth from your own. So that's it. Server set up and we'll start on that one next. Got Brad Roberts reporting from the server room.